Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be making a simple audio visualizer using Blender 2.8 and Eevee, so let's get into it. So this is what it looks like. So let's open up a new scene and let's get into it. So first click on this little camera icon and make sure that you're in Eevee. And then all we'll need for this is screen space reflections and ambient occlusion for this. So shift A and let's add in a plane, hit S8 to scale it up. And then we'll hit tab to go into edit mode, right click, and we will go into subdivide. And then let's type in 100 subdivisions and let's add our displace modifier. Go in here, click displace, click new, and then click this little icon right here. That'll go to the textures. And right here, just pick whatever texture you want right here. This is all up to you, but I'm gonna pick a clouds texture. And we'll give it about that many for now. The height is what we're gonna be animating. And I'm gonna right click and shade smooth. Okay, so let's animate this. So for the song, I'm gonna be using SoundCloud. Um, this, this song is from No Copyright Sounds. They have a YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna link this and you can click right here and download it. And then, then you would just click free download right there and just save it to wherever you want. Now to do the animation, wherever you wanna animate, for this case, it'll be the strength. So right click, insert keyframe, and we're gonna utilize these presets up here for the workspaces. So we're gonna click on the animation one. And right here where it says dope sheet, we're gonna switch that to the graph editor. We're gonna click key and then bake sounds to F curves, and then navigate to your song. So now when we press play, it animates. Now we can't hear the audio. We're gonna utilize another one of those workspace presets right next to sculpting or scripting, I mean. Click the plus on video editing, we're gonna click that. And then right here on add, we're gonna click sound and then navigate to your song. All right, so now when we press play, We can hear it, and so now it'll play right with our displacement. Now that we've done that, let's quickly set up our scene. Let's add the lighting, and that'll be with It's Your Haven right here. This is this is gonna be linked in the description for you to use. It's all free HDRIs. I'm just gonna pick Noon Grass and download the 4K version of that. Now to use the HDRI, you're gonna click this little world icon right here, click Use Nodes, and then on Color, click that Environment Texture, and navigate to it. So now if you hit Z, rendered view, you can see it's in here. So now let's get our camera, shift A, add a camera, make sure the camera is selected, go to your camera settings and on here on type, change it to orthographic and hit control alt zero, just like that. And then to zoom out, we have to go to orthographic scale and we'll zoom it out just like that. And you can hit G to move it up and then we'll zoom in just a little bit more. So we can see, looks pretty good. Now let's model our play button really quick and that's gonna be with a cylinder. Right here on add cylinder, go down to three vertices and we'll go with that. And then we'll scale it up. We'll go to our transform settings and just on the Z scale, scale it all the way down, kind of like that. Then we're gonna hit R twice and we're gonna move it around till the play button is pointing the way we want. Right about there, that's perfect. All right, now let's animate that really quick. So we're gonna animate this on the X and Y scale. So right here on these dots, just click those, go back to the animation tab, key, big sounds to F curves, click on your song. It works. The only problem with this is the play button's a little too small for my liking. So we're gonna add in an empty to this scene, shift A over here to empty. Now click on the cylinder, hold down shift and click the empty and then click control P and parent it to that object. Now when you click the empty, it'll scale up with the empty and it won't mess with any of the animation. So now, just like we want, and we can just scale it up a little bit more. All right, let's shade this really quick. I'm gonna bevel, I'm gonna do the modifiers and just bevel our play button just to give it a little better design. We'll give it, we'll give it 30 segments and we'll just give it right about there. Now let's add some gradients to this. So we'll click on the shading preset up here. We'll hit Z and go to the rendered view. Now click on your plane, click new, and we're gonna add a gradient texture. So GR gradient, we're gonna add a color ramp. 
to the gradient, so the color into the factor, color to the color. So now we can kind of see a gradient happening here. Let's add some colors. So we'll make it, we'll make it purple, and we'll make this one teal. Pretty good gradient going on there. And then on this one, we'll add a different shader, and we'll just pick a color. Let's give it, and we'll just make it yellow. Go back to the layout, and we're just about done here. So let's check out the animation. So that's pretty much it for my render settings. I'm gonna go over here, you'll see this little icon right there. Switch it from PNG to FFmpeg video. Click on encoding and change it to MP4. And then right up here, you'll click render and animate. I mean, render animation. And there you go, you made a really easy audio visualizer. This can be done to anything, anything animatable. You can right click, bake sounds to F curves, and you can do any of that. So keep that in mind, you can be super creative. And yeah, thanks for watching.